All right, what it do, what it do, guys? I think I've perfected my Lepic build. I have a build for every scenario. We got bossing, we got Hakua, which is our range build. That's gonna suck people up. The word suck is banned. I couldn't put it there, fucking dumbass game. Um, we have goofy goobers. This is when you have to play with public people. Uh, yeah, y'all already know, they're, they're goofy as hell, man. They be just doing goofy shit. So I got a build for every scenario. Real quick, guys, I don't ask for much, man. I'm a super small channel. Look down at the likes, look at the views. If this has 10 views and not, and it has zero likes, please drop a like for me. If it has 20 views, please make sure it got two likes, man. I really appreciate you guys. I make these videos short and to the point, and I do so much testing, hours and hours, guys. Please do me that favor. And yeah, let's get straight into it. Let's go over our weapon setup and our modules and reactors as these are not gonna change. You definitely could min-max this whole side over here a little better. I couldn't really be bothered with it just because for like maybe extra 10% damage or something like that, I could have min-maxed this and got a bit more damage out of it. But like I said, I just couldn't be bothered with it personally. This build kills Pyromancer who is weak to fire within a couple minutes. So like what else do you really want? But yeah, if you want to min-max it, you want to take your Lepic to the next level, that is still available for this build. Our reactor is going to be a burning reactor with fire and tech skill booster. That's going to be for our ultimate. This one that I have is purple, okay? So there's going to be a real big reason for that. This one is purple. It has additional attack against Colossus and it has fire skill boost. Now, what you could actually get is something like this one that I have right here for divine punishment with skill critical hit damage and tech skill power boost. Really what you want is a gold skill critical hit damage. That's going to be powerful, powerful. If you get a gold skill critical hit damage, your character is going to hit way harder. Just keep that in mind. The only thing is one of the mods is only really good on the green weapons right here, the impact round. So that's why I couldn't find one with impact rounds and it had these perfect stats. So that's the only reason. But like maybe you sacrifice a couple of damage. Maybe it doesn't sacrifice too much damage. You would have to do like the testing, see what works for you. This is what worked for me. I also have this one right here with sc skill critical hit damage and tech skill power boost. Um, sometimes I will slot this one in. I just started working on a hand cannon. So yeah, you can definitely choose this to your liking. Mainly go for that gold skill critical hit damage. Then from there, you can go for either like duration. You can go for fire skill damage. You can go for tech skill damage. The losses damage, you have a lot of options, right? You can go for skill cost. All those things would benefit the build. That's it. But skill critical hit damage gold is going to be your bestie. After that, our components, guys, we're just going max HP and MP on everything. Max HP, max MP, MP recovery, whatever, like max HP, max MP. Uh, MP. If it don't got max HP and it don't got MP, you got shield on there. Start farming for a different one. Max HP, max MP on everything that you can. This one right here, this sensor is literally perfect. Like, I love this baby right here. I wish I could like just kiss it, you know? This is perfect. Max HP, max MP all the way down. Now let's go over the weapons, guys, before we get into the builds. For our weapons, the green impact rounds is going to be your best friend. And that's simply because oh, I didn't even max. I forgot to max this mod out. Um, this whole time I thought this mod was maxed. But anyway, the green weapons are going to be your best friend because this one right here scales the best with how fast it ramps up the attack speed, right? So if we go into our modules right here in access info, it's not yeah access info and we type in sharp precision mod so this one right here the green one it's every eight zero point eight seconds the orange one is every one second and then the white one is every 1.5 seconds the best one for scaling your uh, fire rate up is going to be the green one that's why i got the green one just to min max a little bit more damage maybe you get an extra one or two shots in makes a difference at the end of the day but it's up to you guys if you guys feel like that's not a big deal to you you want to run an orange one or a white one no problem do that whatever works for you guys whatever you enjoy i'm just telling you guys why i'm running the green one and which one's the best now that we've gone over all of our weapons and all of that good stuff let's get into the actual build i'll try to keep this as short as possible our modules this build right here is for if you just want to go load into the boss fucking shove your ult down his ass and then wipe and do it again this is going to be that build the ones that you see online is it going to insta kill everything no but it's going to kill shit extremely fast i have no problem killing any boss i've already killed all the bosses with this build this is what we got guys every one of these builds will obviously require ultimate lepic you will need firearm master so make sure you guys are farming up ultimate lepic and make sure you farm up firearm master it makes a humongous difference firearm master is going to give us extra damage and skill range skill range when we reload damage when we change weapons uh, can't go wrong there we definitely need that using your ult counts as changing weapons everybody knows that 
Next up, for our survivability, we're running max HP and skill duration. Yeah, you'll be a little bit squishy, but you're getting some skill duration out of it. Um, and you are getting some HP. Just, just be smart when you play, roll around. We'll have all four crit mods on this build. Skill, skill concentration, skill insight, front lines, and emergency measures. Strong mentality is going to give a skill cost that's going to help with getting our ultimate shots out without running out of MP. MP accelerant is going to do the same thing, give us more duration on our ult, and then it's also going to give us max MP. Skill extension is going to give us more duration for our ult. Skill, we already went over that. Dangerous ambush. This is, like I said, a boss killing build. You will need dangerous ambush. When the boss takes a knee, you're going to fucking absolutely obliterate his ass cheek. So definitely smack that dangerous ambush on there. Um, next up, last but not least, we got us our power increase. Now, you could have gone a little more power out of this, but you wouldn't be able to use the Malachite slot. So I'm using the Malachite slot because I want these builds to like, look, these builds are literally perfect. I want to be able to switch these builds around at will, and I cannot do that without the Malachite slot. I did the testing. I built it out on these websites. Like it's taken me hours and hours of playing on Lepic to figure this out. I personally feel like this is the best way to set him up. And this build is going to be for bosses. Now, let me tell you guys how to play this build real quick. First thing you're going to want to do is make sure you have your green gun out, whatever gun that is for you. Mine's a scout rifle. Unfortunately, it's all good. We will farm up another one when we get a chance. Okay, have your green gun out. From there, you're going to press your two. That's going to give you a little more damage on your ult. And then from there, you're going to press your four. As soon as you press your four, roll and just hold that trigger down. You're going to do shit tons of damage, shit tons. You'll get a bunch of your uh, ults out. And as you can see, we're still firing away. Fire rates going up like we're, we're going in. We're going hella in right now. Super duper good, guys. That's going to be the bossing build. Obviously, after you burn all of your ammo and everything, you would wipe as we don't have cooldowns. Next up, let's get into the Hawk Tua. I cannot believe they fucking banned the word suck. Like, bruh, you guys got ass cheeks all over my fucking screen. Like, uh, but I can't put suck in my personal build up here. That's crazy. But anyway, Firearm Master, once again, this build is going to be focused on sucking up enemies and uh, throwing a grenade at them. This is going to be basically for farming anything in the open world, farming any AOEs like this shit is nasty. And I'm going to show you guys. I'll show you guys at the end an example of using every one of these builds, right? So the first things first, arc acceleration. This is just going to give us skill speed. Not even sure what that really does for us, but skill speed and range. Range is what we're looking for. Super dope. We're going to go all uh, we're going to go emergency measures for the skill critical hit rate and damage. We're going to go nimble fingers for cooldown, amplification control for more range and give us some shields. We're going to go skill effect, more range, uh, sorry, skill expansion uh, for more skill effective range. Focus on tech is going to give us um, a little bit of cooldown, but it's also going to give us a little bit extra burning damage. Like I said, this uh, build is mainly focused on trash mobs. So, yeah, you will need that MP collector. Super important. As we are running MP conversion, you will need mana a lot on this build and with MP collector. And if you're farming mobs, you will have mana pretty much all the time. Front lines, more skill, critical hit damage and hit rate. And then obviously skill, skill, critical hit damage on skill concentration. MP collector for the cooldown. Now, this build is crazy. What you would do, you can use any weapon. You would just reload and that's going to give you a little more range, right? So after you do that reload, you're going to go ahead and throw down that three and boom, it's going to look at the radius on this thing. It's going to suck everything up. Now, we don't have duration, but what you do is you suck everything up and as they're sucking in, throw a grenade, boom, explode all of them. You could even do um, suck, use your second ability. So we'll do suck, second ability, and then bruh, and then grenade, which will give us extra de burning damage on our grenade, um, help us do a little more damage. This thing absolutely decimates. Please stay tuned to the end, guys, as you can see how I farm polymer on Lepic. It's fucking insane. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the AOE bossing build. Mouth won't really be killing you that much as they will be CC'd or dead. So that's pretty much it, y'all. Now, next up, next up. Didn't want to have to make this build, man. But the game forces me to play with people sometimes. And if you're if you're like, you know, if you're one of these goofy goobers in the public lobbies, man, I'm not trying to rag on you, bro. But you, you got to get it together, my G. You got to get it together. You know, firearm master. You already know. Increased HP. You do got to play with the goofy goober. So you are going to have to try to stay alive. Skill.
skill insight for critical hit rate uh cooldown for our ult because as this is focused on our ult you still will need cooldown because you won't be able to wipe with the goofy goobers so skill cooldown skill duration for our ult obviously mp accelerant for our ult and for max mp then we got uh front lines for skill critical hit damage dangerous ambush as a lot of times enemies won't be targeting you if they're targeting the other goofy guys but hopefully they don't die um emergency measures for skill critical hit rate and damage then we got skill concentration for skill critical hit damage last but not least time distribution more cooldown more survivability very unfortunate but yeah that's it this is the goofy goober build if you're playing with your homeboys or you're joining into public lobbies this is the one you want to pull out and this is just going to be the same exact thing as our bossing build when you pull out your ult but this one you will have to use other weapons sometimes when your ult is on cooldown but same exact thing use your ult roll and then start stacking up those uh fire rate mod right there and yeah just go ham on any enemies obviously you're not going to do nowhere as much damage as you were with the other build but you still will be doing super good damage especially considering that you will be able to now play with other people that's pretty much it for the builds guys if this helped y'all out remember what i said check those comments check that like button man please drop likes for me guys i really appreciate y'all you guys have been hella supportive i do so much testing i actually play the game i notice a lot of these youtubers man i'm not trying to talk shit about nobody drive air i'm not trying to talk shit about nobody but they i feel like they're not playing the game bro because some of the decisions they make with the builds are definitely counterproductive to what they're trying to do and it's like have you loaded into a match with that build because there's no way anyways i do a lot of testing guys but yeah at the end of this video i'm gonna leave uh all of the ways i play i'll do a public match with people i'll do um a solo bossing and then i'll show you guys how i farm polymer and that's pretty much it guys the rest of the video i probably won't be talking or i might be i haven't decided y'all have a good rest of your day if you're gonna stop here peace out man i appreciate y'all stay stay lit out there get in the gym stay active y'all have a good one Bye bye i can't believe i didn't watch max out that mod bro that's so embarrassing i did not know oh wow shit's expensive expensive it's not good though we maxed it out now yeah, i don't even know what i got for maxing that thing out all right first boss we finna fight is gonna be the pyromaniac yeah let's get it i don't i didn't test this like this is live so if i fucking goof it up i'm finna just leave it in like i'm real as hell bro i'm gonna tell y'all like if my build sucks you gonna know because i'm gonna be fucking embarrassed but yeah let's get straight into this shit how y'all been liking the game though man if you stayed around for the end of the video i know there's like 20 people that like watch all my videos man i really appreciate y'all um you guys really go hard for me so I do appreciate that as obviously i don't have like friends or a community but it's all good so we're gonna wait for this big dog to spawn in we're gonna pull out our fucking green weapon activate our two and then we are going to use our ult and roll and now we're gonna shoot it's a lot of steps there i don't know why that fucking countdown is even there on his ult. oops i missed i don't know why that countdown is even there on his ult. that shit's crazy bro Can you not hit me bro i'm missing like crazy Look, I didn't script this, y'all. I did not script this. I promise it's crazy. And I know I've seen I think I've seen people one sh one shot this guy, but or not one shot him, but you know, one clip him or one mag him with their ult. But not me. Cause we're running Malachite and shit. Like I'm not running maximized power because then it ruins my build, bruh. We do gotta try to shoot his back, but it doesn't really matter as we're gonna wipe anyway once this is over. So let's just clean up some ads. Hopefully he dies though on the next one. I don't know how long he's gonna be doing this. Should I wipe right now? Should I wipe right now? Go stand in the fire. Um, yeah, how have y'all been enjoying the game? I think that new character that came out is fucking trash. People like trying to say, oh, like look, AOE build with her little transcendent module. Bruh, that's a worse bunny. Put that shit away. If I load into a match, they got that shit in there. I'm a fucking rage, bruh. But nah, I'm just playing. Yeah, I think Luna sucks. Old Valby, obviously Valby was already decent, so like obviously old Valby is gonna be pretty decent too. So there's my hat. I think I can kill him here. He enrages and shit. And then of course he spawns these little fucking spinny guys next to me. Yeah, he's dead. Oh that's wild! Wow, I should have killed the It's all good. That's wild. Like I said, I'm not cutting this out though. It is what it is, bro. Just gotta thug it out one more time. It's gonna be three minutes instead of two minutes. Normally I can kill him before that second enrage. That's crazy. But it's all good. As you guys can see, the damage is there. Like, we're just chilling. 
It's more so like how fast can we end this enrage phase? Now, if I had a crit weapon with hella damage, bruh, this enrage phase would last like one second. Ah, snipe his fucking thing off. But unfortunately, I have not built weapons as I've just been building characters up, so. Sorry about that, y'all. But yeah, definitely, if you have a fully built out weapon, you definitely could do this way faster. Like, um, I don't think I need my old. You can definitely do this way faster, but I personally did not build out weapons. I've been focusing on so many character builds. Next up, I'm doing Sharon, so there's that. But I actually don't have none of the things for this. That new mod, I feel like it sucks too, but that's just me. Let's see how fast we did that, and then let's move on to our next build. Two minutes, 29 seconds. Okay, not too bad. As you guys can see, I botched it, but yeah, not too bad. Two minutes, 29 seconds. Man, this is the one I did not want to do. Let's do one of the bosses that they force you to play with somebody. Oh, I'm not excited. I'm be honest. I'm not excited. Those last four bosses forcing to play with random people who get a random group. It's going to be rough, man. But we got this shit. This build is going to work. This is our Goofy Goobers build. A little bit more cooldown, a little less damage. That's pretty much the only thing that changed. Other than that, it's the same as like a solo bossing build. So yeah, what we got in here? What we got in here? Uh, Viesa. Okay. Glay and Glay. Okay. I feel like Glay's, this game is infested with Glay's now, the boss fights. Um, but that's good. That's good. She's stacking some shit up already. She ready to go get it i don't know like i said guys this is live so hey if i fuck up at least i know i kept it real bro all right let's go two let's go four why me y'all ever feel like he's always targeting you i'd be feeling like that i can't believe he didn't go down that's all good so he's almost why bro can he not let me go run over here. He's tripping. Do have a python right now. I'm leveling up the python. Um, I'm, fuck. Can you not? I am leveling up my python right now, like trying to get all of the things on it. Why did he grab that? So yeah, python's gonna be strong as hell. I can't wait to be done with it. And then my old Valby's almost done. Probably be doing a build for old Valby and the python next. The only thing I don't like is like. Everybody's been doing Valby in the old Python or in the Python. So me personally, I like to be different and like come up with some unique builds. I got an ammo. Out of ammo. No longer out of ammo. But for this part, I always pull out a heavy machine gun. Get it up. Huh. Why do people use a beam rifle on these? Do y'all know? If anybody's watching this part and you know, uh, let me know in the comments. I've been seeing a lot of beam rifles, and the first time I saw it, I swear I almost raged. Oh no, why me? I was about to use my ult too. Um, can you ping? Can I? Hey guys, I'm trying to make a video here. Thank you. All right, let's just kill him. So he should die here, but yeah, as you guys can see, not that bad. Um, it's definitely a, a viable build. I wish he would take a knee so I can actually kill him. Bro, take a knee, bro. Wow, that's crazy. He didn't take a knee. That sucks. Oh, he's still dead. Yeah, as you can see, obviously, maybe we got lucky. I don't know how much damage my team was doing, um, but I had a couple millies in there. I got blood and iron. Hey, I don't have uh, ultimate glay yet, and I refuse to use resources on regular glay. Just saying. But yeah, how fast was that one? I don't think I have any parts for him either. Let's check how fast that was. 
almost two minutes, 49 seconds. Um, obviously with these ones, it's gonna heavily depend on your homies, like who's in your squad, like, but, but you do get a lot, lucky a lot. You get a lot of glaze. Um, damage is not a problem with these bosses sometimes. Honestly, it's the survivability and people not knowing the mechanics. But yeah, that was an easy one, guys. Let's move on to our sucky sucky and we'll be done. Polymer has been one of the most annoying things for me to farm, but that's what inspired this build. So I like to go to Vespers, go to this teleporter right here, farm up this Polymer. And this should only take a few seconds. The video is almost over, guys. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate y'all. All right, so we here. This is the one I farmed for my Polymer and I'm gonna show y'all just how good like this build is. And yeah, boom. Throw a grenade at that. And then I'm just gonna reload just, oops. Oops, I fucked up twice. Thought I was playing Destiny. Um, This thing has so much range and it cools down so fast. I'll show you on the next spawn. So enemies just spawned in. I just throw my grenade right there in the middle. It's gonna suck everybody up, look. And I just hit them with a grenade and that's it. And just do it again. Hella fast cooldowns. Everybody comes in. And boom. Do it again. And then, like, let's say there's some stragglers. I just throw a grenade at them. Clear them out. Boom. Do it again. That's literally it, y'all. It's super duper fun. Sometimes you play with people and they're like, what the fuck? You'll see them just standing back. Um, super duper cool. I don't know if regular Lepic can do something like this without that range mod. I've never tried it because, I don't know, I've refused to put resources into the regular characters. Um, but yeah. Pretty much it, y'all. You just suck everybody up. Sometimes you'll get like the tankier characters or the tankier bosses or mobs to spawn. Uh, you got to hit them with maybe an extra grenade or maybe a couple bullets, but it's not really a big deal at all. Sometimes you will pop them instantly. Just depends if you crit or not. And I've been feeling recently like crit builds are not it for descendants. They require so much investment. I've been personally feeling like I don't like the crit builds. I don't know why these mobs are back here. What the fuck? Um, they're not supposed to spawn there. They're not even from this mission. That's crazy. I don't know what's going on right there. And yeah, that's it. As you can see, the mission ended and the mobs are still there. That's pretty much it, guys. If this helped y'all out, man, thank you for tuning in. You guys are the best, man. Let's keep playing to the first ascendant. Let's keep grinding. Y'all have a good weekend. Hit the gym. Peace out.